Hello once again YouTube, welcome back to The Domain. We are looking at another reveal from Halo Mega. This was listed on entertainmentearth.com and this is one of four, the fourth of these videos where I'm analyzing new set reveals. The first one we had a look at the absolutely gorgeous UNSC Hornet Recon. The second at the UNSC Mongoose Outriders with just so much goodness there. My, ah, oh, that is incredible. And then in the last episode, we had a look at the decisive engagement unit. Today, we're having a look at its sister, its brother, the Bizarre Battleground. To quickly recap what we saw in the decisive engagement, two Spartans with a total of six helmets and four chest plates. Very generous. Comes with a Ravager, Commando, and a newly molded Psychic Pistol. It's an updated version to Plasma Grenades, and a load of shoulders and belts. But the really cool thing about this set is two AIs. We've got Butler and Luma, and they actually look really good. Like, I'm very happy with those. Uh, there were four base AIs that launched with Halo Infinite, so I'm guessing you can uh, figure out what's gonna be in the next set. But this is a really exciting one. I think the next one has me a lot more hyped though. Uh, yeah, and the helmet inclusions were a Mark VII, a Hermes. We had this new Zevzeda Zevzeda with the TAS Droktolf attachment. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Trailblazer, then an Anubis, and the Spartan Agrina helmet that is unreleased in Halo Infinite so far as well as some other juicy chests and shoulders. But today we're looking at the Bizarre Battleground. This thing is pretty outrageous. Like, I, I, I'm way more hyped about this one, to be honest. It's got a gorgeous armor coating, well, two kind of gorgeous armor coatings, and just way more detail. Like, these are basic orange and blue figures, and we've had a lot of those. Particularly orange, we've had a lot of orange Mark 7s. So, uh, not as excited about this one. It's a good set, and it comes with a very good barricade but not as excited. And you can check out my general breakdown of the other three sets as my previous videos on the channel. This one released only a couple of hours ago. But yeah, the Bizarre Battleground. It's actually got the same six helmets again, just in different configurations, like different colors on different sides, you know, wearing different uh, helmets, but it is the exact same helmets. And uh, I, is it the same chests? I think we've got a couple that are different. Yeah, like this one here is not in the... Uh, oh no, yeah it is. Oh, I don't think this one. Uh, I don't know. I've always said with my channel, I like to give you as much detail as possible, but the chest and the shoulders, uh, there's only so much research I can do, and it is surprisingly difficult to find a lot of this information online. I need a database, man, so... Uh, the Genesis Key Project can't come soon enough. Uh, yeah, so we got two figures here. Uh, they they look really good and these sets uh, they're on entertainment earth for a ludicrous price I think the asking price is sixty four five dollars for both I mean that's obviously not retail not even remotely so don't worry about that I think these will definitely retail for at very most twelve dollars but I think below uh, ten dollars honestly um, there's there's not the, the only thing that is not included in these sets compared to other old customizer packs is weapon crates. That's the main thing, but you do get uh, another, well, I much prefer this barricade. I would use this in a lot of dioramas to this gun. That's a little goofy, but it does kind of match the aesthetic of the Mongoose Outriders, right? Like the Mongoose Outriders is that fun kind of goofy green. So maybe that's what they're going for. Uh, either way, I, I, I really like it. I really like it. I saw a Tower of Ultimate Doom speculate that you can use this on the uh, Mongoose Outriders to make a Gungoose, which, Probably. That probably looks pretty accurate. Yeah, let's break it down, shall we? Okay, first of all, uh, the presentation of these images is a little bit different. Uh, these ones showed... Oh, oh, there we go. These showed them sort of in a, a, a pose. Uh, the images provided for this set have them in a sort of laid out armory style, which I do prefer when breaking things down. So here we can see all of the green and white armor. Really, really nice. Very clean. Love that pastely green. I know it's definitely not for everyone. There's a bit of a div divisive, uh, divisive divide. There's a bit of a divide in the Mega Constructs community as to whether people like goofy colors or not. I personally do because there are so many releases. Just give me some goof. Give me some goof occasionally, you know? 
And this is an armor coating from Halo Infinite, so it does make sense. So we got three helmets here, the Mark VII, the Anubis, and the Hermes. They look really clean, uh, particularly just white and black always just pops really nicely. So the black highlights around, uh, yeah, they look very crisp. Uh, I love them. And then the gold visors all match up. Uh, you can see the gold a lot better on the Hermes, of course. And then three chests there and some shoulders. And look at that. Who do we have there? It's little Fred. Fred's looking nice there. Uh, again, just standard studs. There's no new molding here, but it doesn't need to be. There is going to be some new molding, however, for the Cirque, I believe. That's probably a little bit of new molding. I'm not sure how 3D it is right now. But would you look at that? Do my eyes deceive me? A Pulse Carbine. And yeah, the Pulse Carbine is also coming in the Mongoose Outriders. And this brand new sidekick mold, they've added a couple little uh, extra pieces to it. It looks, uh, it looks better. I think it's going to be a little bit larger. This is great. Um, I'm a big fan of this. But I think what's really going to stand out for me is this. I know this is what's going to sell people mostly. Like, th this is good. It's not for everyone, but I do also respect that when you have a set like this, you've got the goofy colors and you've got the realistic colors. So people can choose, especially when, like, if they don't like this pastel green, they can take all that green off and replace it with browns. Granted, they would still have uh, greeny legs, but, I mean, they could still do a good effort on it. Um, love this speckling, love this visor color choice. I love everything about this. This is exceptional. We got a Bulldog Shotgun, Plasma Pistol, and then Cirque. So with these two armory packs, we have all four of the original AIs. I would love to see Superintendent uh, in the future. Two belts, two legs here, and then these nice chests. Uh, this is definitely a Halo Infinite chest. This looks really nice. Uh, yeah, we got three helmets. Uh, again, I'm going to try and pronounce this one. It's the Zvezda Zvez, Zvez, with the TAS Drock Tulf attachment. You can see it being shown off here. It's an attachment on top of the Zedefa Zvezda armor, which was uh, an armor in the Halo Infinite store a while back. We can also see Spartan Agrina. Why is she important? Because that's what one of the helmets is. And this is an unreleased helmet. Spartan Agrina's helmet, we don't know what core it is. I've always speculated that Halo Infinite had a lost core, a lost season that was scrapped and replaced with uh, Heroes of Reach because they already had the assets. And maybe she was meant to be part of uh, the original uh, drop. I don't know. Maybe alongside Lone Wolves. I'm not sure. Uh, nice big chest, uh, nice big shoulders. I think I'm probably gonna, uh, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna take some time, after this video, take some time to learn all the chests and the shoulders. I should know for you guys, I feel a bit bad, um, but, uh, you know, again, I gotta, I gotta get these videos out and I've done my research, but, um, I gotta figure out those chests and shoulders at a later date. So yeah, the Zevzda armor, the Trailblazer, and the Spartan Agrina's helmet. Now, these six helmets that are shown here, are the exact same six in this one, just jumbled around. So, I mean, that's okay. It is a Halo Infinite set, and there's only so many Halo Infinite armors that we've had, but it would have been nice to have a couple of extra helmets, uh, a little bit of variety. But uh, again, I also get if the aim of this is to customize between the two packs, so you always have the same armors and helmets. Who knows? But then again, uh, I think some of the shoulders are different. No, no, because even... This guy has two large shoulders, and in this, there's one here and one here. So maybe they are all the same, but uh, still. I love those AIs, and I love our new AIs here. Very, very cute. Yeah, I'm dashing about images. I do apologize, and I apologize for my lack of research on the chest and the shoulders. <laughs> I'm starting to feel bad. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get this video out and, uh, and keep you guys informed. So yeah, we got uh, six helmets. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, I really enjoy this one. I think this uh, Bizarre Battlegrounds stands out against the decisive, uh, decisive engagement a lot more. I think it has a lot more to offer. Yeah, really fantastic, uh, really fantastic stuff. Like there's all four of our AIs together. They look really great. Uh, I, th I think this may be a new mold. I'm not sure. The images, are, as you can see, I've pho photoshopped these and removed the background myself. Like, they're not incredible. But uh, we'll get more information when we get more. Get, mm, mm, maybe it's just a stud with some printed detail. and can't really tell. It might be a little more 3D than that. Yeah, the Bizarre Battleground, I would give a solid 10 out of 10. Uh, the Decisive Engagement, maybe closer to like an 8 out of 10. Just the colors are just a little boring to me, but uh, still, the, the, the barricade there 
is a big win. And here we're going down memory lane. Some of the old customizer packs, some of them were just armories, but I've included some that are just, uh, you know, two characters, usually two crates, as you can see. And this is the most valuable one by far, the ODST customizer pack. This is worth well over $100 on eBay if you have one of these. So uh, here, get, get hunting, fellas. Oh yeah, the Brute Weapon customizer pack, the Spartan 3 customizer pack. Uh, I've seen a lot of those in uh, Dollar General. And then the most recent ones, the UNSC Spartan armor pack and the UNSC Marine gear pack. They're the most recent iterations, and you know, you could argue they're better than uh, the ones we're getting right now. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, these come with three figures uh, and considerably more accessories with, uh, with backpacks. But then again, this one came with a lot more accessories than this one. Did it? No? <laughs> am, I, am I just lying? <laughs> I might just be lying. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's at least goes uh, through with the, the Brute, that's nice. Um, but I don't know. I saw a lot of people complaining about these yellows back in the day. I personally like them a lot. Uh, these do come with muzzle flares though. Oh, that's a big plus though. That's a big plus. And that metallic red elite, gosh, so gorgeous. Yeah, the, okay, one thing I would say, and I've been saying this for a while, no mega product should release without a muzzle flare. Every single release should have a muzzle flare. And there should be way more Covenant muzzle flares, way more rocket launcher muzzle flares, Spartan laser muzzle flares. Like, you want dioramas, Mega? Give us the muzzle flares. That's what I'm saying. So the Bizarre Battleground and the Decisive Engagement will release next year, uh, probably between ten and twelve dollars. But they are—they're uh, exceptional sets. They're, they're not the same. Like they cannot be compared to these because these are different things, right? These are different products. Three figures with other accessories. These are different products. These, however, should be compared directly because they are exactly the same kind of thing. Granted, did come with one more helmet. So there is that. Um, and there is clearly more printed detail on these chest pieces. So there is that. But at the same time, you know, we've got uh, some really nice printed detailing on these helmets. We do have some new molds here. We do have two AIs. I'm not comparing them too directly because there's big pros and cons for both. Let me know in the comments down below how you rate these two sets out of 10. What do you think they're missing? What do you think makes them stand out? And are you hyped to buy these? How many do you need to buy? Do you need to buy three of them so you can customize all your Spartans at once? As always, a huge shout out to everyone who supported me. The views over the last 24 hours have been wonderful, so thank you. Hope you stick with us. Make sure to subscribe for all your Halo merchandise news, collectible news, Mega Constructs news. And you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. The Domain is signing off.